first thing I want to address is I tried going against the Elite Four already with a very underleveled team. If you think I'm underleveled now, I was underleveled before. Because I was ranging between levels 35 and 39. No one was even level 40 until I started the Elite Four and got a few knockouts. So, yeah, I'm going in 10 to 15 levels higher than I was before with everybody. And something that I did before was I actually had almost the same thing that you see here. Uh, 20 full restores, 30 hyper potions, and 30 revives. I had a little leftover money, so I just threw in the extra three revives as well. I went and grinded against as many random trainers that I could on routes that I just skipped all the trainers, such as north of Cerulean and east of uh, Vermilion. And I just got as much money as I possibly could. Slapped an amulet coin on somebody, went to town. Now, the only other thing that's different now is that I went ahead and bought 10 uh, X attacks and X specials. I'm not too much worried about defense and accuracy because most of my moves are highly accurate already. It's not like I'm trying to hit anybody with sleep powder or anything. So I should be good. And defense, I'm more worried about knocking out rather than surviving. And I've also got all these extra max repels that I never ended up using. I probably could have sold those. Also sold a lot of uh, my... Oh, another thing I did was I sold all my vitamins instead of using them all in my Pokemon. And honestly, I think the X attack and defend items and all the hyper potions and whatnot is worth more than one to three or four stat boosts for everybody. Because like... My special attack might have gone from 119 to 121 or 122. Not enough of a difference. Okay. So, the team now. We got Jolteon with Thunderbolt, Sand Attack, Shadow Ball, and Thunder Wave. I replaced uh, Quick Attack with Thunder Wave because it'll just help out against certain Pokemon. Charizard. You got Dragon Claw, Toxic, Wing Attack, and Fire Blast. I could have taught Slash, but... Eh. That Toxic might come in handy when I least expect it. Let's leave it on. Uh, we got Nido King with Thunderbolt, Surf, Ice Beam, and Earthquake. Great damage. Great, 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 great damage. All around. Good mix attacker. Should be able to deal damage and take a good uh, hit or two. We got Snorlax with Hyper Beam, Yawn, Body Slam, and Shadow Ball. Tripolar the Dodrio. You are my only problem on this entire team. Because I have Fly on uh, Dodrio. If I had deleted Fly from Dodrio before leveling up, I could have put Drill Peck in place of Fly and I could still have Steel Wing. But I didn't want to pass on Drill Peck either because power of 80 and 100 versus power of 70 and 95. It's just, I have to have Drill Peck. Plus, this is a two turn uh, move. So, it sucks, but I'm just going to go with it now. And, yeah, that. Yeah. I just don't. Let's move on. We got Primate with Cross Chop, Strength. Aerial Ace and Rock Slide. Strength is just HM. I'm stuck with it. Boo hoo. Whatever. And there we go. So, Shadow Ball on Jolteon because it's something. Jolteon only has Thunderbolt. Like, it has nothing else. It has no other value in Gen 3. Up to Gen 4, it had nothing. So, we're going to go in with Jolteon right out the get go. Lorelei the Leaf 4. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. You're almost correct. Uh, freezing moves are powerful. You are very correct. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they're frozen solid. Absolutely. 
which is why I hope I hit you with some strong moves and then I can full restore if I do get frozen. But when I first did this, I was like 15 levels under level and Jolteon couldn't even get a two hit KO sometimes. Being only three levels under, let's see what happens now. I don't even think it's gonna be a one shot, but let's see. Nope, but it's perfect range. I could not ask for anything better than that. It's low enough so that I know it's safe to two hit KO and it's high enough so that she doesn't full restore. So boom. Now, there's one thing I just realized that I forgot to do, and that's my self-implemented uh, challenge. So, Elite Four Lorelei is about to send out Cloyster, will John change Pokemon? I've been having the battle style on set, so that it just sends in the next Pokemon without me getting the option to switch. So, for the sake of consistency, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to keep hitting B, I'm never going to switch on a switch in and I'm gonna turn the battle style back when I'm done here. Either way, Jolteon should be able to deal with a majority of the team. Cloyster, this is a one shot, no special defense. Bye bye. And it looks like Jolteon's gonna be the first Pokemon to hit level 50. Slow bro. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I'm actually kinda scared of this. See, I don't know if this is gonna be a two hit KO, but let's let's just find out. Jolteon isn't gonna see much more usage until the champion, or at least the uh, the final gym. Uh, I'm sorry, the final elite four member anyway. So we might be fine like this. And with that amnesia, I hope this could still finish the job. No way it can. Yeah, Amnesia's not that good. It is good, but not that good. Alright, first level 50. Let's go. Let's get it. Lapras. My choice here, honestly, would be Primate, but let's go for it. Now, I've gotten most of my health back from Leftovers. Which, by the way, I think my other leftovers is on... Oh, a crit! That was not a one-shot kill. That was not a one-shot kill. That definitely mattered. That was huge. Now, Jinx, I'm scared of you. You are always a problem. You can attract me, I believe. You can put me to sleep. You can hit me with Ice Punch. So we're going to go with Shadow Ball. Super effective damage. I think your defense is way lower than your special defense. Another crit! It's done. It's done. Jolteon just swept the entire team by himself and recovered with leftovers to shrug off all the damage he took. So I don't even need a heal. Holy crap. Okay, um... Jolteon, sit down. You're too good. Uh, we gotta send a Nero King. So, I wasted a good chunk of my items the first time I fought Lorelei. This is why I don't like level grinding. I did it for the sake of continuing the game. But, I really wish I hadn't even gone this far. I kind of wish I had stopped at 45. So Bruno, you've lived and trained with your fighting Pokemon and that will never change, except for when you bring out two Onyx for some reason. We'll grind you down with our superior power. hua All right, Bruno. What you got? I already know Surf, one hit KOs, both of these Onyx. But the funny thing is, oh, another useless crit! Well, not another useless crit. That, that one was useless, but another crit! What is with this game? But anyway, I was gonna say the funny thing about this is that 
tight matchup wise ground beats poison so he instinctively puts his other onyx in right now so bye bye onyx now as far as the rest of his team i don't know Let's see poison point can help And I don't know what move he's going to use. He's probably going to use Mega Kick. You know, we're going to stay in and scout. What's he going to do? Hit him with a hard move. And what's he going to do? Alright, Mega Kick. Like I thought. Alright, that's way too much damage. While you're full restoring... We're gonna send a tripolar. Now here's something I'm curious about. Who has a higher attack stat? Dodrio or Nidoking? I'm actually kinda curious. So 127 versus 126! Beat him by one? Beat him by one point. So, this super effective hit should kill with uh, Drill Pack. There you go. And useless crit. Dude, that's four critical kills in a row. What is this game doing? Where was this the first time I fought the Elite Four when I was low level? This should also be a one-hit kill, because Hitmonchan isn't even as bulky as Hitmonlee, even though Hitmonlee... Oh! I'm wrong! I'm dead! I'm alive! I'm dead! Am I still faster? Am I still faster? Uh... Okay, he's using the full restore, so that's all of his full restores. Was that a low roll? It was a low roll! So for those of you that don't know, there is a low roll, high roll thing where there's like a minimum and a maximum of how much damage you could do. And I must have rolled like closer to the minimum. Because that was just a one shot kill and nothing, there was nothing different. Now, here's a problem. Here, uh... If he's gonna use Rock Tomb again, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna use Rock Tomb. If not... Then... Oh, boy! Oh, the miss! What is with this look? Dude! Hacks. H-A-X hacks. Oh, really? That did nothing. Two on a row. This game is just giving me the battles now. What well, does that mean that Lance and uh, John are going to be the worst? Oh boy. All right, you know what? Oh, that ah, shoot. I'm going to go for my own cross chop. See, I was going to weaken him down. I forgot he had a citrus berry, but he missed me with two cross shots in a row. And then he gets the third one. He one shot me. Wow. Okay. Um, That's garbage. But now that I'm not slow. Goodbye. So I beat Bruno relatively easily. See how much money I get because of this amulet coin? Good job, Dodrio. Alright. Only got to heal up a couple Pokemon. My first of 30 revives. So if I can keep most of my items for the second round against the Elite Four, I really shouldn't have to grind anymore. 
I really shouldn't. My goal is to have everyone around level 55 whenever I take on the Elite Four the second time. Because by then I should go through a good chunk of the after game. And that'll put his Pokemon about 15 to... No more than 20 levels ahead of me. And that was the last one, right? Yep. So now, going up against Agatha, gonna start off with that Gengar. Actually, I think Jolteon's about to get some uh, time to shine again. Hmm. Alright, now I actually gotta do the set. There we go. So now it's not gonna prompt me to switch anymore. But yeah, the second round against the Elite Four is tough. I think the lowest level in there is like 63 or something like that. Basically, everybody gets a 10 to 12 level boost and there are some different Pokemon. But some of those different Pokemon are actually easier to take down. Depends on who you're fighting and what they have and what you have. But anyway, uh, Gengar. Hopefully, I can two-shot you with the Shadow Ball. That is not a two-shot. This is going to suck. This is really going to suck. Come on. I was going for the Thunder Wave so I could paralyze it, slow it down, and then send in like Primeape so that it really can't do any damage to me. Alright, this works too. And if I lower special defense, I'll just stay in. I'll just stay in! I did not mean to call that, but there it goes. Okay, 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 okay. Little leftovers. Get a little health back. Now I need you to not... You know what? Hold on. Another Shadow Ball. Don't be confused. Don't be confused. Don't be confused. There we go. So that should do a decent chunk. And I can follow with Thunderbolt after. See, I'm rarely going to use Shadow Ball. So I'd rather use that now instead of waste all my PP and have to waste an Ether. Even though I got like five of them, but still... Uh, but I'm definitely living a lot more hits now. And this is why I didn't want to be levels 49 and up. Because honestly, it makes the game a little too easy when you're close enough level and all you have to do is hit them with super effective attacks and then heal. That's why Nuzlocks are so uh, difficult. Because once they're dead, they're dead. You have to... Uh, You have to stock up on your items. You have to be extremely smart. You can't let anything bad happen. And honestly, I don't know why I didn't send in Snorlax to begin with. Immunity. She can't poison me. Normal type. She can't hit me with ghost moves. I should have just done this from the beginning. That, that, that was my mistake. Uh, Jolt... Uh, you're dead, Jolteon. Ugh... Well, you shouldn't be able to do anything to need okay. Uh, Thunderbolt or Ice Beam? Let's go for Ice Beam. Let's see if I can get that freeze randomly. Because a Poison Flying type, I get to hit super effective because of its Flying type and Poison irrelevant to me because part poison and part ground it's so weird she considers herself a ghost type user but her entire team is actually poison instead
they should have never made a ghost type user when there was only one ghost type evolution line in the entirety of Pokemon at the time. I know in the re uh, the rematch she has Mistrevis instead of one of these Haunter, I believe. And the goal bat is evolves. Oh boy, I was I was kind of shrugging that one off. I'm like, okay, that, that did nothing. That did zero. What's 222 minus 177? Zero. Yeah, you're right. Woke up with that quick claw! Shadow Ball to the face! Even though your entire body's your face, therefore it's not really that impressive, but goodbye. 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 Congratulations. You played yourself. So I'm gonna take this curse damage, unfortunately, but we good. You hit me with that intimidate. This couldn't have been any more perfect. This couldn't have been any more perfect. Arbot comes in, does the uh, intimidation. Burger King can come in. That should do zero. Let's see, we're dropping from 32 to 12, zero. That right there, zero damage. Now, am I faster? That is the question. Yep. You can never be too safe. <gasps> How dare. How dare. What should I do here? This sucks. We're gonna hit you with a body slam hyper beam combo. He just barely lived. All he had to do was die to Earthquake and then send in the next Pokemon and Snorlax would have Will this do it? I hope this does it. At least Sludge Bomb secondary effect can't kick in. Come on, Body Slam did that much? Hyper Beam almost twice as strong. Goodbye, Snake. Okay. And the last one, Gengar. Really shouldn't be able to do anything to me except Sludge Bomb. Yikes. Okay. Um, let's see what I can do here. I don't want to have to heal. I don't want to heal if I don't have to. I still got three completely fresh Pokemon. Uh, I really have so few options. It actually seems Dodrio's my best. Where that is to say. Oh my god, here we go. Alright, come on. First turn, wake up. Aw. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, wake up. One turn. One more turn. And please summon Sludge Bomb's not gonna do that much. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Ah, that was the exact perfect amount, too. Full restore. Now, please go for Hypnosis again and miss. Because I don't want to keep taking Sludge Bomb's to the three beaks. That's not missing. Uh, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. See, the thing is, there's no point of trying to heal and then take 
damage right back and then waste another healing item. So I just gotta hope that I wake up and then go for it. Otherwise, I'm gonna sec. Come on with that! Well, the hacks is back in the opponent's favor. I was gonna just use the hyper potion, but no, you had to hit me with the poison as well. Am I gonna PP stall you? This is ridiculous. A crit and a poison, what are the odds? Oh, she's actually going for Sludge Bomb, okay. Now, how much is this gonna do? Oh, that was a crit. Uh, please tell me that's enough. Please tell me that's enough. Please tell me that's enough. That should be enough. Um, Hyper Potion. Do not heal. Do not heal. Do not heal. Thank you. And now, I survive one more slip. Not this again! So for those of you just tuning in, I am sucking against the Gengar because hacks! How does the Gengar hit every single hypnosis? It hit three of them! It poisoned on a sludge bomb with a critical hit! This Gengar is Hack City! Please. Finally, the miss! And look look what happens when you miss. Bye bye Oh, man. That sucked. Mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. <sighs> Next. This is the battle that cost me the Elite Four run before. And I'm coming in with more than double the items I had, plus X attack and uh, X special. And just an overall stronger team, so I shouldn't die. I really shouldn't die. 22 Hyper Potions, 16 Full Restores. That's 38 ways to completely get all my HP back. We're good. And Jolteon, believe it or not, you're actually staying up front again. Because this dude starts off with a type that is not the type that he says that he's a master of. Go figure. Ah, I've heard about you, John. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Uh, actually, correction. Um, they're very destructible, huge weakness, one themselves, and then, oh boy, don't get them caught in a hailstorm. Uh, and there's no being clever with them. I mean, I, hit, I think hitting them with an ice beam is very clever, but anyway. Well, are you ready to lose? Not this time. Your league challenge ends with me, John. Again? Not this time. Let's go. And the Gyarados, one shot from a Thunderbolt from a, from a Jolteon. No way you're living this. There's just no way. This is a physical impossibility. Now, you didn't die in the one hit last time because I was only, what, level 38 or something like that? 12 levels, that, that'll that make a difference. I don't know how you become a uh, champion in uh, gold and silver with these uh, Dragonair one level from Evolve. First of all, I don't know how you become champion with weaker Pokemon than you do right now and then all these Dragonite that are not high enough level to be Dragonite. So here it made sense. Dragonair level 54, boom. You're one level away from uh, being fully evolved. It makes sense. 
All right, so it, that's why I hit him with Thunder Wave first because safeguard is a problem. But now I should be able to switch a little safely. Let's try. So I don't want to waste Burger King yet and have him just get bodied. Let's send in Lizard on. I just hope your shed skin doesn't activate. That's all I need to worry about is if your shed skin activates. Because I think you're faster than me, but I'm not 100% positive about that. Nah, probably not. Second stage evolution. Alright, so there we go. Whether it mattered or not, I slowed you down. For the entirety of the battle, hit you with that Dragon Claw, you gone, bye bye, mwah. Level 51 Jolteon. I knew I was gonna use Jolteon the most. Ah, uh, hi, how are you? Um, you're gonna use, uh, Rock Slide? I think? Hmm. Decisions. Yeah, Burger King, best bet. I mean, I have to switch to somebody, and let's go for the resistance. Oh, ancient power, that's right. Let's just hope he doesn't increase all of his stats at once. Yes! That makes no sense. See, Rock-type moves are all physical in this game, and Poison Point poisons Pokemon on contact sometimes. So that wouldn't have happened in a later game, and it was hilarious to me that that happened during the safeguard. So, that's some easy damage, and eeny meeny miny ice cream. They'll all hit for super effective damage for the same amount, but uh, actually I probably should have just used Surf. Yeah, I don't want to waste that PP, I'm going to go to Surf. And this is the exact amount I need, please... You miss with Hyper Beam. Holy crap, that mattered. Hyper Beam would have killed. Hyper Beam definitely would have killed. And who's next? The other Dragonair? The Dragonite's coming in already. Oh boy. Um, Do I outspeed? Probably not, but let's see. I do outspeed. This isn't going to one shot, though. I'm too under level. Yep. Dude. Imagine if he actually had multi-scale like in later games. Oh, God. And now we're going to do essentially the same thing as with the Dragonair. The only difference is that I'm not swapping out to Nido King right away. But I'm going to hit you with that Thunder Wave. And because he's part uh, flying... Rest in peace, Jolteon. Uh, max HP to dead. Powerful move. Powerful, powerful move. Alright. There's... I, this isn't going to work. There's no way this is going to work. A quad uh, super effective ice beam didn't even bring him down much. This can only do so much. Yeah, not enough. Uh, okay, let's do a little bit of damage. Hope he goes for Hyper Beam. That's actually too much. Outrage. What an idiot. Okay, he's locked into Outrage. He can't do any moves. He can't do any healing. He's stuck doing that one move. So now, we're going to seal the deal. With Sun Wukong. Finally gonna get a chance to shine, big boy. And Rock Slide for the death. Woo! Now, I actually could have probably rocked that power flinch if I had sent him out in the first place. But now all he's got left is that other Dragonair. Which I don't know if that's a threat, but we're gonna try this anyway. Crit? Nope. Ooh, hitting me with the Thunder Wave. 
Uh, now the outrage. Okay, so I basically win now. Okay, so I'm about to take this hit. Yeah, I'm about to die. Uh, well. Do I waste... Nah, 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 nah. No need to waste a full restore now if I'm just gonna take a hit and end up healing again at anyway. So I'm gonna take advantage of him using Outrage again. And we're just gonna go for a Hyper Beam straight off the bat. I take that like a boss. That did zero. 222 minus 182. Yeah, that's zero. Um, bye bye, Dragonair. I beat Lance. Not as easily as I wanted to, considering my levels, but he has to admit that I'm a Pokemon Master. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you, John. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face. His name is John. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Okay. Considering I've used so few of my overall items in all actuality, uh, like the biggest chunk is my hyper potions because I've been using them in battle as well. But I don't see me losing this last fight. Like, I don't know how I can. I have a tight matchup for every one of his team members, every single one. So I think this is actually, yeah, with the exception of Bruno, I've led every single battle with Jolteon. I brought her, uh, brought him in because of uh, Shadow Ball against Gengar, hoping for the two hit KO. Brought him against Lance because of Gyarados and obviously Lorelei. I mean, who else are you gonna use? Um, let's see if I have anything besides. Nope. And I'm not wasting a berry. That can come, uh. That can come in handy later at some point. Somehow. <sighs> Save the game just in case. The time is not accurate. I left my game on for a long time. Not accurate at all. I probably left it on all day. So it's been on for at least 20 hours. 